Hey guys, and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We're kickstarting the episode straight again. It's episode 30, I think I've just said that. I don't know. Uh, memory loss, gone. Anyway, so we're straight back into the weekend league, of course. Can't remember what we are. We might be like 10 and. One or summer, I don't know. But anyway, we're going straight into this game. He does the nice little celebration on me, even though I skipped it. Uh, with Taliska, and I'm scared, to be honest. He had a decent little team, but a Dharma does a Dharma type things. And has caught, of course, slots it back home. And then we get a penalty shoot out because there were pretty much nothing else in this game, to be honest with you. So, are we going to get the second loss of the weekend league? Well, when things like that are going against you, it might well happen. And then Son steps up. That should have been saved, so we should have scored a pen and we should have saved the pen, but it is what it is. Then we score, don't worry, so Bergwijn's put his penalty away. And now he steps up. Can Pope save this one? No, he can't. So this little penalty sent me the wrong way. Then Semedo's up. What's he going to do? Oh, look at the bar. I mean, not the bar, the big circle, and that was shocking. He should have scored that as well. And then St. Max comes up. He's missed the target, so we've got let off on one. Can we slot this away with the main man who's man? Of course we can. So it's now 2-2. Two, two. If we save this, we'll back level in the shootout. Uh, but of course, Alan scores. So we have to score, we have to save. Adama goes middle, we score. We just have to save this penalty to stay in it. So all we have to do, Taliska steps up. The man that scored for him in normal time, saved. Come on, we we just have to score this with Sibitza. We're probably going to win the game, but he saved it. So we have to save to stay in now. Nick Pope, you've got a big task on your hand against Paulinho. He's looking left, and I go left, and he saves it. Not. He should have saved that. What is that? It literally smacks his head off the bloody post, but he serves him right for not saving that. It was right in the corner, to be fair, but. Should be saving it. So then we're going to this game. So I think we are. What are we? I think we might be ten and two at this moment. Not actually entirely sure. But we come up against this. So he's got Ben Yedder. He's got uh, Dybala. Some solid little players in there. And look at the ball back post. Do you see that? Our one cross. There you go. I've told you boys. Our one and cross. I'm telling you, it's OP. And then we go and get a second with Uzman then Beswell, of course. And he goes and quits the game. So we're now eleven and two. I'm pretty sure we're 11 2 anyway. Uh, and then we sort of missed the game, and Akin Fenwell scored, uh, and he scored the winner as well, so that's really annoying that I forgot to press record. But it is what it is. Uh, so we're now 12 and 2, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure we are. And then we come up against this, we've got Inaki Williams, Usman Debele, and Ansu Fati as a front three with that Lorient. It was actually a sick card. It's just his normal cards, absolutely class. I remember when I had him, and he's got like further man and stuff like that. So I was a little bit scared, and especially when Inaki Williams is literally shadowing into my defender and then scoring a goal. I was quite scared. And then he comes through again, of course, with Inaki Williams. What's he going to do here? Puts it back and slots it home. And I'm quite scared at that. I was thinking. Uh, two nearly nine minutes. This is not good. I've lost my head. What's going on? And then he's coming through yet again. Anzu Fati. He's causing a bit of havoc down that uh, left hand side. It's a shocking tackle. Is it going to be three nil? Yes, it is. It's three nil. What's going on? Twenty four minutes on the clock. It is appalling defending, but it's all right. We're we're gonna try our best to get a few goals back. And Mukiele, the right back, goes and puts us one back. So we just need to score two more goals. And what's this? It's big hack in Fenway. He's won the ball back for us as a substitute. And bang, it's 3 2. So we're straight back in it. We've half an hour to play. We just need one more goal now. Can we do it? Sabitza, he's on the edge of the box. He gives it to Promes. He gives it to Dembele. And we've we've completed the comeback from three goals down in 24 minutes. We've brought it back. And we've got 11 minutes to play. Can we find a winner? Well, um, what's this? Usman Dembele is on the edge of my box. And. We've given away a free kick. Why did I not put a player on the other, other other side of the net? I really don't know. And he goes and scores. It hurts. He got a red card to Kula Bale, and he's just done that with Paolo Dybala. Oh, it really does hurt. I should never have given that free kick away. It was such a stupid free kick, and that just 
hurts us, but Sabitzer's there. What's he gonna do? Half volley. Oh, Sabitzer, love that. Yes, it's 4 4. Come on, we're straight back in it. I don't know how you love to see that. So, can we do something from this now? We're attacking, but we've lost the ball. Look at this, my defence is a bit split up, and, and he's played a through ball. Can we get a block off? No, we can't. And he goes and scores again with Insigne, who I think is terrible on this game. I've got him untradeable, and I absolutely hate him. He's going to go straight into an SBC, what I feel is good enough. Anyway, so we do lose that game, unfortunately, after being three goals down. I did batter him, honestly. He just got three lucky... Well, we want lucky goals, but he absolutely outclassed me for the first 25. Then I came into it, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So, we're whatever now. We've lost three games and all that. We are 12-3. and three. There you go. So, it's still an absolutely class record. I just need them two more wins, and we are done. We come up against this. He's got Rashford, Dembele, Son, and Adama Traore. Four wingers in that team, but they're all ridiculous. Obviously, they'll probably play Rashford and Son up front. Something like that. I'm not really too sure. I can't really remember. And then he's got a solid back four as well. Just a lot of pace. And that happens. Like... Come on, Costerman. I know you're 80 rated. I know you're worth about 4k, but come on, you've got to tackle him there. Um, so he does go 1 0 up with Hugh Min Son. And then he plays a lovely ball through with Son to Adama. What's he going to do? He cuts back, looks for the back pass option. He does find it across. And then Rashford, and then my defender just falls over. Klosterman again, just falling over. I don't even know what happened, to be honest. But that's that. And then we make a great challenge with Klosterman, so it makes up for them errors. And we're going on the counter-attack here, the transition of, of Opinus. Here we go. Look at this. We're 3v2 or whatever, 3v3. It's Martial. He cuts back, goes back across, does a fake shot, and boom! It's 2-1. All right, so we're back in this game, 2-1. Can we find another goal? 35 minutes on the clock, what we're going to do here? Dembele, he gives it to ZH, back to Dembele, back to ZH, back to Dembele, back to ZH. Oh my God, it's football. This is liquid football, and it's 2-2. Two, two. We're tied back on this game. Come on, right, so what's going on here? Adama gives it to his son. Son to Rashford. Scoop turns my defender. No, no. Oh, he's gone and scored. Just before half time as well, that really does hurt. And he's coming through in the second half. I'm just sort of backing off. Then I make a stupid like push out of my defender and he goes and scores another. So it's 4 2 now. I was 2 0 down. I can come back from 2 goals down yet again. Come on, we've brought Akin Femmer on. We've brought Semedo on to solidify that midfield. Can we get a goal? Oh my god, it's Akin Femmer. Akin Femmer. Oh my god, what a guy. What a, He's an absolute player. But. Unfortunately, that is not enough to get us back into this game, and we unfortunately lose. So we are now 10 and 4, which is still pretty decent for me, I can't lie. He did play 4 4 2. He brought, I mean, he brought Mane on for crying out loud. He brought Zaha on. No, 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 this is no, this is another game. My bad. Uh, I, my capture card won't record while it was showing the team for the next game. Anyway, so I do find myself 1 0 down after a silly free kick yet again given away. But Dembele just does what Dembele does best. I mean, he's absolutely quality on the ball. Look at that. He's just so everyone a kipper. And we're back in this game at 1-1, one, one, 23 minutes on the clock. But we haven't cut it. Do you know why? Because we've won the ball. ZH to Dembele to Semedo. And what's going on here? What's going on? No, it's still coming on Semedo. My bad. Um, what's going on? Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Hello. Boom. What can I say? It's Usman Dembele. He's got two in two minutes. What a player. Buy him now. And then we come through in the second half. What's going on here? Sissoko, not the Semedo. In and, oh my God, it's, oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Done you again, my son. It's Usman once again. Just buy him in your team, man. Just get him in your team. He's quality. So a 3-1 up. Six, seven minutes on the clock. But he just turned me with Rashford and that's a quality finish. And of course, Rashford scores against me. Because we saw him. Uh, I do apologise, Rashford, but why not? Anyway, so we scoop turning with Dembele. Boom, what's going on here? Oh, oh, Dembele, bang, go. Easy as you like. Dembele puts us far too up. Come on. With two goals to the good, with uh, 30 minutes on the clock left to go. Can we just, like, hold out? But no, because that's a quality pass that from Mane, to be fair, to split my defence. However, that wasn't enough for this guy. By the way, this man had um, red uh, Zaha, just about that, you know. But GG's to him. I passed one. I did message him after the game saying GG's, you know, all that. You know, but we're now up to 13 and 4. Just one more game away, and that's it. And he's not even got a good team, this guy. I mean, it's all right, but it's not great, is it? The attack is meh. The defence is meh. 
glitchy net. I mean, what's going on there? Anyway, so we do push forward. That's a lovely ball from Cosman, and it's quick fire football. And we find Tellez just, but there at the back post, he's took it with his right, but he's squeezed it in. I mean, that was such a poor effort at goal. But we are winning, and it's 55 minutes on the clock. I kid you not, that was pretty much the first like bit of play anyone did in this game. And then we brought Aki Fenwa. Look at the strength. He's got 90 strength. Boom! It's 2-0. Adebayo Aki Fenwa. This man is absolutely brilliant. I'm not even lying. Like, I'm genuinely being serious. He's probably one of my favourite players. Look at him. He's doing his Arsenal celebration as well. You love to see that. What a player he actually is. Honestly, he's incredible in this game. The strength and the pace is just mental. So we are 2-0 up, but he's going to try look to get in this game. He's brought in a Jao Pedro, I'm pretty sure we're a red version, uh, because you wouldn't go out and buy his inform, would you? Uh, he does come through, Dembele would make a nice little block there, but it's not good enough. He's coming through, St. Maxi finds himself free, and it's a goal. I tried to get uh, the man on the line to try block that, didn't work out. We do win the ball back though, can we just get a winner? Pretty much, and he's hacking Fenwer again. Boom, Akin Fenwa, he's got a second in this game after coming on in pretty much the 60th minute or something, I don't even really know. He's doing his celebration again, you love to see that. And Akin Fenwa's pretty much got me goal free, I can't lie to you. We're going through again here, are we? No, we, we've got it blocked. He's coming through now, is he going to, no he's not, promise with the defensive work, Semedo, what a ball that is, it's Akin Fenwa for his hat-trick, oh my god, he's shit the keeper, Adebayo Akin Fenwa, with two minutes left on the clock, goes and gets himself a hat-trick, what a man, what a player, and that, Caesar's got, get goal free, and that pretty much ends off the episode, if I'm being honest with you, there you go, goal free, 14 and 4, quality little record, and that's pretty much that. Uh, like I say, this is the team when it wants to load. You know, that'd be great. Here you go. So this is the team that we played with. We had four players on eight chemistry, including Usman Dembele, who was incredible. I mean, look at that record. 65 goals and 52 assists in mostly sub appearances from the start. And then pretty much seven chem and eight chem. He's never really, really been on 10 chem, I don't think. And then we've got Martial, who predominantly played out on the wing, like Dembele as well. Um, not really many goals for him, but he's getting there, and then even the Adama, you know, some appearances most of the time. And then ZH as well, 30 goals and 14 assists in 41 appearances, that is absolutely quality from the lad, honestly. Most of them were some appearances as well for him. You know, this is a full and tradable team, and I've still got like 990k in the bank ready to purchase some players. Even the bench, I mean... Akin film with four goals, five, four goals, no sorry, four games played, five goals, promises quality, don't really get the goals and assists that he should, but it is what it is, anyway, that is going to be the end of the video, if you did enjoy, give it a look, like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow, peace.